Hello, good afternoon. Here we are in uh, sunny Wales. As you can see, there's still snow on the ground. Uh, we had a bit of a snowfall uh, just over two days ago. Just starting to clear a little bit now. Um, just a little update on the loft, I suppose, um, so far. As you can see, we've had some new aviaries and traps installed. Lovely job they are, they are too, to be fair. Um, made for us by D&D. Uh, for those of you that are familiar with D&D Averys. Um, really, really nice quality, galvanised steel. Uh, with a bit of a trap as well. So, um, yeah, really, really pleased with uh, with how things have worked out. We've got one on the far end for the old birds. And one on the near end for, for our young birds. We've also had a little bit of a cage made up the top. Just up there. Where we, we keep some stock birds or maybe some young birds that are looking to pair up. But um, overall, absolutely delighted. So, cheers boys. Uh, here we are in the first breeding section. This is the pigeon we call Yorath, who's a uh, direct Van den Beele breeder. I um, showed you him in the last video. Had many excellent races off him. And fortunately, his hen was one of the first to lay. She laid, uh, she's under there, sitting at the moment. We'll have a look. Uh, she laid on probably about eight, well, not nine days, maybe. Um, sorry, there she is. So there she is, sitting in there. There's his hen, that's a full sister to Big Ed, and dam of many excellent races for us uh, we'll now pan back up so next door is Big Ed and Big Ed is sitting on his eggs again his end laid I think a day after the pie day we just saw so somewhere in the region of 10 days which again is, is, is a pretty good lay so we're really pleased that these two have gone down uh, really well and we'll probably float these eggs now within the next week or so so we'll have a little look upstairs here we are upstairs uh, these are the older race cocks that I showed you last time. Um, just have a look across. There we go. Um, these have gone down really well as well, to be fair to them. Uh, I think we got about two or three of these to lay out of ten, which we're quite pleased with. Um, and they're all settled really well, to be fair, so we're delighted with the way they've, they've settled so far. And then these are the yearlings. Uh, they've been together for 13 days now and again there's only one to lay so we're really pleased they've they've settled really well so far and uh, hopefully it's a sign of good things to come this year so what we thought we'd do today with this video is um, there's my dad good looking chap uh, see where I get my good looks from um, we sort of start to profile some of our better birds so we're going to have a look at Yorath the blue cock we looked at earlier so uh, we're up on the platform today and my dad's um, just going to introduce you to Yorath just have a little look at him and Perhaps tell you a little bit about what he's bred. Hi everyone, this is Yorath, uh, also known as the Van der Beely cock, which we bought direct from Van der Beely in 2006. So he's now 13 year old. He's been a tremendous sire for us. Most of our winners come through him. And our best pigeon ever, which is Daisy Rose, our national winner. Um, she is a, a direct daughter from this cock. He is a super cock, um, but he's getting on a bit now, obviously. He's 13, but hopefully we'll still have, I don't know, a dozen young ones off him this year. So this is Yorath. Next I'll show you Daisy Rose's daughter, which as I said is our best ever uh, racing pigeon. Uh, this is Daisy Rose, uh, without doubt our best ever uh, racing hen, a national winner from um, Rosemont, hence her name. Um, she was second, as a young bird, she was second combine, second national, first combine from Lillas. Uh, she'd also been, as well as first national from, uh, as I mentioned, she's also been third and fourth national, both from um, 340 miles, a super super N, also a very good breeder. Um, I'll tell you a little story about her when she came back from uh, Rosemont when she won the national. Uh, she trapped straight away. Uh, she came in, I gave her a bit of seed, she went straight on my shoulder, and that's where she stayed for half an hour. A real, real special N. The brothers and sisters are multiple winners, but this is the one. <laughs> 